Good morning! Happy Saturday when I'm filming this. It's probably not Saturday when you're watching it. It is the 8th. We officially have a 15 month old on our hands and I'm going to clean up the house today. Sam is doing mulch at the house today. So we did have a professional cleaner come in and she gets like the initial bulk of the cleaning done. She gets like the construction stuff, the bulk of the dirt, the handprint, stuff like that. I'm a little bit more OCD. Um, so I'm going to go clean today while my mom has Chunky. She's just taking him out of our hair so that, you know, we can get some stuff done. Like Sam really wanted to get the mulch done because we have white brick and red mud right up next to the house. So he's kind of wanting to get the mulch done around before we move in so that at least that part's like finished. Um, let me show y'all. Look at this belly. 35 weeks tomorrow. Look how round I am. I also, I'm not sure if I showed y'all. Look, I got two stretch marks. Like how cool is it that our bodies literally stretch to curl babies? I'm not concerned about it. I, um, I didn't get any with Ezra, but there are some like creams and stuff that I'll use obviously to hopefully lighten them. Um, but if they don't go away, I don't care. I'm getting this little baby boy out of it. So 35 weeks tomorrow. We've got a lot of stuff done in here. I think this was what I showed y'all, like the last thing I showed y'all in the last vlog. Um, and then this stuff like all needs to be donated. My actual house that we live in is chaos, but I'm going to take these cleaning supplies and my smoothie and we are going to go to the house. Okay, y'all are probably a little crooked, but we're going to the house and um, we're hoping hoping and praying that this week we get like the final paperwork done and we can move in this weekend. If it is not this weekend, it will definitely be next weekend. So I will either be 36 or 37 weeks pregnant. It's gonna be fine. Um, I'm not super concerned about it. I'm not, I, there's nothing I can do. So I go back and forth between being really frustrated about it. But today I'm just saying, you know what? It's fine. It is what it is. I just wanna be in the house. All right, camera battery keeps dying. I think there's something defective with this battery, <laughs> but um, these glasses are actually what I wanted to share with y'all. So I'm gonna link these for y'all. I think this vlog might go up on Prime Day. Um, it might not. If it is a Prime Day, the 11th or 12th, buy these glasses. They are on a huge deal. Their Ray-Bans, their Ray-Bans are always on a really good deal. Um, during the prime days and they are the best glasses. They like really work well under hats and they're super comfy. Like they're very, very lightweight, just super, very comfy glasses. So um, that's always a good thing. Way well, we did have to have the stair guy come. He had to come back and fix a couple things. Um, just as far as like handrails go. And then also this, this is another thing I bought this. This is one of the brands that everyone told me has a really good diaper bag. And I wasn't gonna change diaper bags. I'd gone back and forth about it. Like I like the idea of changing our diaper bags because we have two kids and need a little bit more room. And then I was like, I don't know. After getting this belt bag, the quality of this is so nice. I actually might get a diaper bag from this brand. Like this is hands down one of the nicest belt bags ever. And like Lululemon has really nice belt bags. Like there are tons on Amazon that are really good price. This one's a little higher price, but like this is nice. So just like all my, all my stuff. But we're gonna go inside and clean. Okay. I have like 12 things. I'm so mad at myself. I just dropped that freaking bin and messed up the train right here. Good thing is touch ups are happening today. So we have Wi-Fi at the house. I don't know, it's like been acting really weird lately and like taking forever. But I gotta get started. I don't think I'm gonna like vlog the full cleaning process. Oh my God, he just scared the absolute piss out of me. The stair guys are here. I think I mentioned that already. And he just walked to the back porch and I forgot that they were out there. Um, I don't think I've, I've maybe vlogged since we got the screens, but all right, let's <clears throat> get to clean up. I'm gonna start with the sink. Let's 
All right, and then I actually just cleaned the sink and did not think about it, so I'm gonna rinse it out in a second, but I'm gonna show y'all this thing right here is so cool. So water is completely off. Obviously you would have to put soap in this first, but look. How freaking cool is that? It's like under 30 bucks on Amazon and anyone can install it. You can get a plumber to do it, but um, you don't have to. All right, Ooh, come a little bit. Y'all, I'm so glad touch-ups are happening today. I dropped, literally dropped a bin full of cleaning supplies directly, like it fell down the wall onto this freaking piece of trim. Like right as you walk in. Ugh. We are now getting to all the windows. So they came back today and they fixed the handrail. This is like the grippable part right here. Um, and then we've got all kinds of stuff just like stored in here. Believe it or not, this is actually cleaner compared to what it was just a couple days ago, but I'm gonna go grab us some lunch. Oh my gosh. It is so freaking hot. The hot vest does my hair look. I don't know. Okay, Sam is on his way home now. He's probably gonna be like another 20 minutes <clears throat> because he always does this. He's like, I'll be there. Just call me when it's enough time, and I'll call him in enough time to get home and like meet me. Me and my dad talk so much. So I went to Subway and got a sandwich, and it was just like easier. I just was like, I'm gonna get exactly what Sam gets. This is so good. <laughs> I'm sure it's like packed full of calories, but I bet it's also high in protein because it has a lot of um, the chicken. Let me see what he got. So Italian herb and cheese bread. I did the six inch, he did the foot long with turkey and buffalo chicken, pepper jack cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, black olives, mayo, mustard, oil, and vinegar. And then he got uh, banana peppers on his. This is delicious. Oh my gosh. Mm, gonna eat this. Wait for him. Probably gonna eat by myself. Probably have about another hour and a half till I go get chunky. And I'm hoping that my whole reason for having my mom keep him today was because I was gonna clean the house. Why is this thing never focused when that deck and fan's on? I wanted to have her watch him was because I was gonna be at the house and I was hoping that the rest of the baby proofing stuff would show up today so I could go ahead and get that done. Cause he literally runs around like this. Like he runs around and thinks it's so funny. Literally runs and sprints to outlet to outlet and like tries to stick his finger in outlets and we'll pick up things and try to stick them in outlets. So I really need more outlet covers because we're out. I'm hoping those show up before it's time to go get it. And it's in. Oh my gosh, so Sam is actually gonna put a piece up here just because preference, but. <gasps> oh, <laughs> that took him no time at all. I've got to go ahead and empty all this out and then I'm gonna go ahead and um like wash everything and then get the ice maker like situation situated i just cleaned the shower doors a little bit better um she did a good job it just like i'm kind of ocd y'all were right though this thing is incredible i got it from amazon and it comes with a little holder and i put it on this side because this is like the tub side and that side will just be you know just have more stuff on it in general so that's where that is and i love it it looks i mean that's a whole thing of glass. Looks so nice. So, <sighs> I'm gonna go grab the Chunkmeister. We did get our mirrors up. I don't know if I showed y'all. So, this one is mine. And then, this one is Sam's. So, I love it. But, I'm gonna go, oh, and this gets, this happens this Friday. We are getting, three shelves. They're not gonna be floating, but this is like a five foot gap or something crazy. And so I think we're doing two foot is what Sam said, um, shelves, but we're doing one, two, three, and then probably like hamper underneath or something like that. 
I don't know. I um, So I have one and then our bathroom door will stay open pretty much majority of the time. Sam has one. These were supposed to be closets, but we eliminated them. And then we're doing the floating, not floating shelves, I keep saying that. Um, the other option is to not put a hamper under there. And then either put a hamper there or there. I don't know. So there's not like room over here for one, but all right, I'm headed out. I'm gonna go get my baby who I miss so much. I got this baby who is just elbowing me and kneeing me <laughs> from all sides. We're at 35 weeks tomorrow. Still doing good. Happy Tuesday. It is actually Prime Day and I need some fuel. I did not drink my coffee this morning, so I'm gonna go to Starbucks because we are out of K cups. Let me show y'all what, what this room looks like back here. It's it's actually a little insane. So we oh, crossing our fingers and toes, saying all of our prayers. We get answers today. So it is again the 11th, Tuesday. Um, home was finished on Thursday. What was that? The 6th or 7th? Be good, Doug. Be good, okay? So the home was finished on the 7th. And we're getting our final appraisal today. And then from there, the bank should tell us what we've got left. Hopefully it's not long. But I have to show y'all what got delivered yesterday. It's insane. So we ordered a dumpster because I think I mentioned, I might've mentioned this. I know I just talked about it on Instagram stories. So we needed a dumpster because you can't like, we can't sell or um, donate everything. And that was gonna take like 4 million landfill trips. So we just got a dumpster to come because it actually was not that bad. And I saw it yesterday and I was like, this is bigger than my car. Like that's a full, that's our full love seat. That's absolutely just hor like horrible quality, but full love seat. This whole thing is left. Like, it's bigger than my car. And I told Sam, I was like, I didn't think it would be this big. And he goes, well, I told you it was a four ton. And I was like, honey, I don't know what that means. <laughs> like, I can't visualize four ton, but now I can. It was actually really nice. We asked our builder if he could set it up for us and we could just, like, pay him. Um, he was like, yeah, sure. So we, ah! so we, we, um, got that delivered yesterday and it will be here until we move. So appraisal. Oh, I'm so excited for it to happen, but I'm nervous that like the date isn't going to be great. So basically what the lady said yesterday is that we've been, we've just been having some issues with her. She's not the nicest. She's not easy to work with. She's very snippy. Um, and she just wasn't the easiest and most helpful. So for the past couple days, like now that the house is done, you know, we've been talking to her more and more. And um, she essentially was like, you know, we need an appraisal in person. And then what was the other thing? She said they needed the title thing ordered, which they've needed that every time just to make sure. Like, they do that because I think it, correct, I might be wrong about this, but I think it's like they need to make sure that no one has put anything out on the piece of property that you're building on, like that there's no liens or anything against you. So they have to check the title every time we've done a draw. And that has held us up like two, three days each time. It's so irritating. But then, you know, when something doesn't schedule according, like someone can't schedule ASAP on our end, she gets an attitude. So I'm kind of ready to be done with this woman. <laughs> but um, those are the last two things she said we needed. Like for our home process to be over with them. So we're hopeful that this appraisal today will at least get us answers as far as like a closing date goes. Um, again, we did a one-time close. I think I mentioned this in the last vlog. I don't know what I ever mentioned here or on Instagram. And I don't know if it's going to be quick. I don't know if it's going to be a long process, but she seemed to like lead us to believe it was going to be very quick once she got all of her final documents. Because when you do a one-time close, you don't have to sit through another underwriting process and you don't have to sit through another like closing um, 
costs. Like you don't have to work all that stuff out and you don't have to like book with your attorney. So it'll be really interesting to see. And I'm hopeful he comes at three o'clock today. Our mortgage company is actually in a completely different state and they're an hour behind. So hopefully he comes, he gets our paperwork to them quickly and maybe like tomorrow morning we'll know something. But we're still packing up. We're still planning on moving out sometime soon. So let's go to Starbucks. So, me? And speaking things into existence is just happening lately. I need to like knock on wood as I say that. I'm back in the car going to my mom's. And I get home and Sam's like, hey, our mortgage company just called me. He had called them yesterday to ask a question. They did not answer. So I was like, it's probably that. Let me check my email, you know, see if she emailed. Three emails from them. So I'm so excited and I'm so hopeful that this is the guy. So the man who did our initial loan is like on fire. And that's why I like really liked our, our company at first because I was like, oh my God, if everyone's like this guy, like rapid fire, you email him, he emails you back like within a minute. Um, I was like, if everyone's like this guy, I love it. Like I'm so excited to like work with this company because they're efficient. And then we, we have this other lady. Hold on, God, my camera's battery's dying again. All right, so stopped at the top of the driveway, changed the battery when I got here, but this guy is so efficient and I don't know if he's the one who's gonna handle 100% of it, but he emailed us and sent us everything that he needs for our final close. So the sooner we get him those documents, the sooner we can close. And he said the 21st, he was like, we need these by the 21st, which obviously some people, I'm sure it takes them like longer to get things. Yeah. Um, it's the 11th <laughs> give me a couple hours sir i will get you every single thing that you need right now i will get it for you i'm so excited all right final update on this chaotic vlog we have sent all documents to the mortgage company that they requested to transfer our loan into a permanent and the inspector is supposed to be at the house at 3 at 3 30 he's not there i'm not super stressed about it um i keep just watching and watching the cameras the ring cameras um it, it's gonna be a quick process i'm pretty sure when he does get there so i'm just I'm just, I'm just stalking away. Um, but we are now waiting and I feel like it's a lot of hurry up and wait in this process. But I, I, I was talking about like, you know, we got back with the guy who did our initial loan process. So I'm really glad that it's him who we are like back with now because he is like so quick. So say your prayers for us that this happens quickly because I have 35 weeks pregnant and we still don't know so hopefully it's this weekend or next weekend we can move so we'll see but thanks for watching we'll see you next time